Force Alert. Good evening. If you're just tuning in to Local 4, some sad news to begin with here this evening at 11. As we reported first about 35 minutes ago, Detroit Pistons owner Bill Davidson has passed away at the age of 85. Bernie Smilovitz has been talking with your sources over the past uh, hour or so. Uh, what a hole this leaves in the Detroit sports history. And, and what a man. I mean, this, yeah. the, the things that he did were unbelievable. But about an hour ago or two hours ago, Pistons owner Bill Davidson died after a long illness. He was a fixture at Pistons home games until about two years ago when it became much more difficult for him to come to the palace. This man lived an amazing life. He was simply known as Mr. D to all of those that knew him. Bill Davidson was one of the most successful owners in professional sports. He bought the Pistons back in 1974 for seven million dollars. Today the franchise is valued at over 400 million. And it was his love of that franchise and the sport of basketball that gave Bill Davidson such joy. You know, since that time, 1974, why it has become a major sport and it is my, uh, you know, basic love. And I'll, I'll die with it. Davidson could be seen courtside at nearly every Pistons game, and it was his drive and desire that helped bring the Pistons three world championships. He also owns the Detroit Shock, which added three more titles to his collection. And in 2004, he owned the Tampa Bay Lightning, which won the Stanley Cup. But it was Davidson's personal touch that helped and affected so many people, like Pistons president Joe Dumars. To sit here and think that I'm the only person that's a young African-American guy that's qualified to do what I'm doing, it would, would be foolish. So it's not so much about me, him choosing me, it's about him. Joe learns from him, Mr. D, because he's older and wiser in the way of business and how to make a business just very successful because Mr. D was so successful in his business. Bill Davidson was successful beyond his wildest dreams. He got his start by giving up his law practice and buying small companies which were failing. He would then turn them around and make them profitable. His biggest turnaround was Guardian Glass. He made Guardian into a worldwide industry leader, where he worked nearly every day until his death. His wealth has been estimated at over three and a half billion dollars. But even with that fortune, game six of the 1988 NBA Finals still bothers Davidson. A foul in the final seconds gave the Lakers a game seven and cost Davidson a title. Up to that point, he had never won one. Um, I'm in the locker room waiting to receive the trophy from David Stern. He's down there with me, and they call a foul on Bill Lambeer, which never has been called in the history of the game. So it's another one taken away. And at that point, I said, on my tombstone, it's going to be said, that's as close as he came to a championship. Bill Davidson was a philanthropist, giving millions of dollars to universities and hospitals around the world. And he was also a showman. Davidson owns DTE Energy Music Theater and Meadowbrook, but his prized possession may just be the Palace of Auburn Hills. Opened in 1988, the palace is still one of the finest sports facilities anywhere in the world. That's because Bill Davidson cared about his players, he cared about the fans, and he cared very little about himself. How would you want to be remembered as an owner of 50 years from now, people said, Bill Davidson owned the Pistons. How, and how, how would you want sports fans to remember you? I don't care. <laughs> and I don't think I'll care then. <laughs> William Morse Davidson, better known as Mr. D, dead at the age of 85. And Mr. D is survived by his wife, Karen. He had two children from a previous marriage and three stepchildren. And, uh, you know, a, a guy who really did do a lot of things for a lot of people. I mean, just yeah. beyond the basketball court yeah. and what we see in sports. Now, they've known that he's been in ill health for some time. Yeah. I, my guess is the plans have been here for some time, trying to figure out how you step forward, given the, the size of this empire, not just sports, but the Guardian as well. But what I'm hearing tonight from several sources is that Joe Dumars will continue to run the Pistons, Tom Wilson will continue to run the Palace, and Ralph Gerson will continue to be the right-hand man, which, as he was uh, with Guardian. So everything will continue yeah. in the way it's going. But it is a huge loss, especially yeah. in, in the world of education. I mean, he loved the University of Michigan. Right. He gave lots of money to the school and to schools all over the place. And, you know, he cared about his players. I mean, he was the first NBA owner who went out and got a plane because it would make it easier for the players to get from one place right. to the other. Anything he thought that could make it easier for the players and to make them win, Mr. D would do. Created a new model in a lot of different ways. He was not without controversy. After he bought the Pistons, moved them, of course, out of the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. They played at the 
Silverdome for a year, but in moving them out, uh, uh, he created this new model with the palace, completely privately funded. Yeah. As you mentioned in the piece, one of the nicest, uh, most luxurious sports venues anywhere in the world. That created a new model for other franchises everywhere, too. And if you go to the palace today, it is still probably one of the top arenas you will yeah. find anywhere in the world. So he was so something. far ahead of his time in all of these things. A tremendous yeah. loss for the Detroit area. Bill Davidson dead tonight at the age of 85. Now, word on this, of course, has just come in here within the last 60 minutes or so, so we are still uh, gathering a reaction uh, from those who knew him best. Uh, Bernie will have more coming up here in sports. Let me quickly mention the next Pistons home game this Sunday, 1 o'clock at the Palace. They'll be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies, and uh, what an odd day that will be for him. Uh, he hasn't been at all as, as many games lately. You mentioned what a fixture he's been, but that'll be really a, a strange atmosphere there to know that Bill Davidson's no longer around, dead tonight at the age of 85.